KEZI 9 News at 5. We begin tonight with a cluster of new coronavirus cases. At a Eugene grocery store. We do thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Templeman. KEZI 9 News at 5. We begin tonight with day one of phase two in Oregon, and businesses say it could be a game changer. What exactly does this new mask mandate, mandate mean? Well, we have the breakdown when KEZI 9 News returns in 60 seconds. Which is why those public health officials are asking college students to put down the party cups and pick up face masks instead. The summer's must-buy item could end up being... Portable urinal, uh, urinals, there they are. Uh, searches for urinal bags on Amazon have increased 500%. Conducting contract tracing, contract tracing. Lane County up 10 cases today. 61 cases are considered infectious. And Douglas County also reports two new cases today. One person is in the hospital with 14 people recovering in isolation. Benton County added one new case today. Three people are in the hospital. So these numbers obviously uh, not up to date. Even scarier with COVID-19, how one hospital is trying to ears fe ease fears for their pediatric patients. The ears fe ease fears. Kennedy. Matt, in less than two hours, protesters are expected to show up here at Peterson Park in Eugene. I'll say in just a moment, but first we want to talk more about the Oregon Country Fair that is coming up. The annual event brings in thousands of people to the Veneta area every single year. Jillian? Renee, it's a Friday night and a lot of the restaurants here on this strip are filled with people eager to just get out of the house and enjoy their favorite meal. But that's not the... Having some microphone issues there. We want to tell you now. Local bars and George restaurants, Floyd, Breonna Taylor, say and these uh, phase two could be their saving grace for bars and restaurants. Jillian, Avita, Jillian, Emma, what is it looking like over there now? Matt, I've been here since 2 p.m. when it all started, and people have been flooding in. I'd say a few hundred people are currently here right now, celebrating each other with food and music and obviously speakers about the importance of the holiday. But, of course, this comes with concerns from people who think that coronavirus is still very present and that they should not be having a block party right now. I've seen people wearing masks all over in an effort to stem this coronavirus for the holiday. Officials with the city say they approve this event, although it's up to them to decide whether or not they'll approve a park permit. It comes down to those who are attending to follow all the guidelines in place, from the vendors to the choosing of the participants. I'd say the majority of people here are following the rules. All right, we've... We are going to go away from Emma as we have received some uh, disturbance from another person there. But now we again apologize for the disturbance we received at, all, at uh, the Skinner View Park tonight. You've been a viewer favorite for so many years here at KZ, yeah, and I know you're not one to bring attention to yourself or pat yourself on the back. So this is going to be hard, but you had one heck of a weekend. I did, I did. Tell us what happened. Well, I uh, won an Emmy for Best Weather Anchor uh, for the Northwest Region mm -hmm. of, of uh, I guess, the National Academy of television arts and sciences so uh yes i beat out someone from seattle portland and boise to win some of these people you've been watching for years because it's as mentors to a degree oh yes yeah and i i've, I've met uh, especially the portland because that's our our region you know we mm -hmm. i always look at forecasts from the national weather service in portland and i've always talked to a couple of those guys and they have been in careers for you know 20 plus years so i've always mm -hmm. looked up to them and it's great to be at least nominated with them but also it was fun to win well deserved and we're lucky to have you with us mm -hmm. thank you marissa mm -hmm. your first forecast with Chief Meteorologist Marissa Walzen. Well, we are looking at some temperatures, and I forgot where I'm supposed to be, so you'll see me in just about five seconds. All right, we are looking at some nice weather here in western Oregon. I had everything, like, ready to go, except, you know, I was in the wrong spot. If you uh, take a nice look here over Florence, we are looking at some nice conditions at this hour, where currently our temperatures are going to slide as we move into tonight, uh, eventually cooling into the 60s there. Not really sure why that graphic popped up. What I really wanted to focus on was hiking in an alternate universe as we were would, would be moving into the 4th of July, and if we had a bunch of fireworks shows, a lot of people had an extended weekend and weren't working from home, 
you would see a lot of traffic here on the roadways, but not the case tonight. I'll have a closer look at your forecast, though, if you do have plans to camp this weekend coming up next. In Coos Bay, you can also see that layer here. I feel like I can just like squeeze it and I almost just practically ate the bird with my hand. We are looking at mostly sunny skies though above the clouds out along the coast. though, definitely don't have pollen problems out here because we have the ocean and that's where most of our air comes from from and there's really no plants growing on top of the water out here. But don't worry, the rain is still a little bit of a way away or a ways away, but in place. But as we zoom out, we are going to see clouds develop. Of course, we're not going to zoom out because I forgot to check a little box there to show you. I was hoping to show you the winds and I don't know about you, but 70s are probably one of my favorite numbers and also our numbers, favorite temperatures. And it's a pretty gorgeous day. Too bad it is not Friday. I know, I don't know about you, but I was really hoping it was Friday today because of all the sunshine and you want it to be the weekend. However, with the forecast, you might not necessarily want it to be the weekend. And I know that's a little confusing and I'll explain it coming up in just a bit, but let's take a look at our sky cams around the area. Plenty of sunshine here. Coos Bay, a beautiful sight as you work your way into Florence. Also looking at plenty of sunshine and then this, this box is going to get small, smaller and smaller and it's totally my fault. But again, <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's my fault, but yes, of course, uh, you can <laughs> even see you chain there. All right. Oh my goodness, I will pull myself together. I know, live TV. Thank goodness our forecast is great. We do have <laughs> some more temperatures, low 60s along the coast right now. Looking at the 70s, okay, I promise I will be able to get this forecast out because it is pretty nice. We are looking at a mix of 70s and 80s here along I-5. And as we take a look at Storm Tracker 9, but now again, looking very, very nice. I cannot keep thinking about it. In the very high range after being in the low range yesterday morning, Tree Fallen is also in the low range. And I do expect the Cascades looking at 80s in the foothills, 70s across the mountain passes, low 80s for those of you in the Willamette Valley. We will see clouds pushing in. Overall, we will see an increase in clouds as we head into both of those days. I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like I need to tell the story behind this, Matt. <laughs> Reason being, the I created that graphic there, and I wanted to make it small and disappear. Unfortunately, that was supposed to happen at the end and not at the <laughs> middle part of the graphic. And so the problem is I keep thinking about that throughout that whole forecast. But thank goodness we do have a pretty nice forecast. A lot of sunshine still expected the first part of the day tomorrow before the clouds this weekend, and then more sunshine next week. I'll closer look of course at your forecast coming up at six and I won't laugh. I've been working with you for years. I've never seen you get <laughs> taken away like that. That was, that was excellent. That was very entertaining. Thank you. Oh, great. <laughs> Dateable. Oh jeez. All the dogs watching right now are like, <laughs> like told you that. High five in each other. Why'd you have to do a study? We could have just told you. Oh <laughs> It's All right. <laughs> the race was the first live sporting event in New York in about three months, and Fauci is not the only COVID themed name. Social distancing, flatten the curve, and shelter in place have also been registered for horses. That is unbelievable. So, apparently, a horse doesn't have a name since its birth, right? Apparently, obviously. Okay, we're all equestrians here. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but on a good note, it's actually going to be better pollen levels out there as the rain will knock some of that pollen out of the air, Matt Renee. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Throughout the zoo. Now, they were saying that the animals have been kind of depressed not having the people around. Yeah. So it'll be a, this is a win-win for everybody really and is. all the animals. Yep. yep. And I like that it's one-way traffic, too, because sometimes, I don't know if you've ever been to a zoo and then you're like, well, do I go that way or this way? And then you <laughs> right. like, do all these loops, so now they help you. Actually, Just follow the signs. Yep. <laughs> nice and easy. All right. A reminder, KEZI 9 News is on the go wherever you are. You can stay connected 24 hours a day at KEZI.com. Renee. All right. That does it for us. We'll see you back <laughs> here tonight for KEZI 9 News at 11 o'clock. Have a good night. We'll be here at 6. Oh, and at 6. <laughs>